All right, here we go. We're going to do the startup and the setup of the Connect. So we're going to power it on. And we're going to turn to the Xbox channel. Let's see if it's automatic, if I have to do something special. It's doing something down there. Mm-hmm. To use this device, an update must be applied. So first thing you gotta do is update. I hope it's light enough in here. Let me turn the, the light on. There we go. That helped or harmed it. Let me turn it back off. Okay. Do 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 do. Ready to be the controller. Uh uh. Sensor placement, speech recognition, and chat play space. Make sure your sensor is two to six feet from the floor, centered above or below your TV, stable surface. This process will help improve voice commands and chat. Start by checking background as your room are available. It's testing something. Please be as quiet as possible. Yeah. Make sure your speaker volume is at the level you use to play games. So check your Speak a volume by playing some sound. Go right ahead. Right on. Test sound to help orient connecting your room. Your audio setup may affect connect. See more. Okay, calibrate. Microphone calibration is complete. If you turn the volume up, you can turn it back down. Connect has built in chat microphone for see, so it does have automatic chat for games and stuff. Right. Connect. Setting up connect. First stand up. Okay. <clears throat> One person only, please. Put down the controller. Dang. Xbox is stalking me. Make sure the area is clear. Sorta. Of. Move in front of the sensor. Just look me up and down. I am in front of the sensor. Oh, there I am. I had the sensor, I'm too close. Wave to connect.
Hold your hand over the panel to select it. Ooh. Congratulations, you're all set up. Go have fun. Show me how to have fun. Over the next few minutes, you'll be introduced to Xbox 360 and some basic concepts. Grab your controller, relax, and begin to press A. You can interact with your console in a whole new way using your hands, the connect hub, the guide gesture. The play space is the area where Connect can see you. This is what Connect can see. Your hands glow when Connect sees you. The hand icon also appears when Connect sees you. When you see it, you can wave. In the Xbox dashboard, wave until the Connect Hub opens. Okay, in the Connect Hub, you can start Connect games and experiences. Move your hand over the item you want to select. Hold your hand over the still, sorry, hold your hand still over the item to select it. When the ring is complete, the item is then selected. Pausing a game. I need to pause my game. To make the guide gesture, hold your hand to the left, out to the side. Keep your right hand down. Alright. The guide icon appears. Wait for the full circle. And the pause menu will open. In the connect game menu, select an option with your hand. Yeah. Okay. Connect guide works like the connect hub. Hold your hand over item to select it. Do -do 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 -do. Selecting the back button closes the guide. Okay. If you have any problems with connect, the connect tuner can help find and fix them. It's also a fine tune connect to your play space. Go to the Connect Tuner when the sensor doesn't see or hear you well. If you're in the Connect Hub page, left or right on the tuner. If you're in the Xbox dashboard, go to My Xbox System Settings. With Connect, you can control your Xbox with with voice. This section will cover the microphone icon and voice commands. I'm going to cut the video here and do a part two.